in 2010. Mm -hmm. And, and set to continue the work that I did as a commissioner in the city of Lauder Hill uh, and to build on, 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 on those achievements and really focus on economic upliftment. Uh, because when people are more prosperous, they behave better, they live better, their health's better, the world is a better place when that's the case. Yes. So, so that, was a ma that, that was, became my major focus, building again on starting the Chamber of Commerce in Lord Hill and, and helping the business incubator, putting Sister City International together. At the county, I focused on our procurement process, how we contract and how we ensure that the billions of dollars that the county spends spreads out throughout the whole community of South Florida. And South Florida is, is one of the most diverse places in, 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 in the world. You have Miami-Dade to the south, Broward in the center, and Palm Beach to the north. It's six million people plus. It's a it's a third. It's the sixth largest metropolitan area in the United States. And, and again, two million in Broward County, two point seven million in, in Miami-Dade County, and about one point three million in, in and Palm someone Beach County. Someone was telling me that from a language point of view. Broward County is either the top or the second with the most uh, yes. uh, amount of different uh, languages yes. spoken in this county. Yes, we have about 100 different, 190 different languages from 200 different countries around the world. Wow. That is why the greeting was, Buenvenido, Buenvenidos, Namaste, uh, Shalom, uh, Salam Alinkum, Sak Pase, Wagwan, Niha, including the world, because we're the world. Mm -hmm. We're the world here, and America is the world. Yes. Uh, so, but what we need to ensure is that we don't leave communities behind. And we've done some of that, especially communities of color in this country. They struggle, and, and we have to build more inclusivity. So, pr our procurement process, prosperity. To build that, we changed many of our procurement codes. And, we, and I went out and recruit small minority women-owned business to participate. I got to the county 10 and a quarter percent of our procurement went to those groups. In 2021, last year, my last year in office, we went to 55%, representing $245 million. That's a big uplift for people who were not at the table participating. Because you see, when you own business, who do you hire? You hire your kids. Yes. You hire your, fam your, your, your friends. You hire people around you. So in order to spread the prosperity, we need entrepreneurs in communities that don't have entrepreneurs. We, we've got to help those communities grow their business and, and, and give them technical support and, and access to capital and a, an opportunity to contract. Yes. And that's what we did at the county. And that's why it automatically builds the, the, the county because you Absolutely. have your own people within the county. Absolutely. So let me give you a result of that. In South Florida, I mentioned Miami and Palm Beach. Miami-Dade County poverty rate for the black community is 24.4%. Palm Beach is 20%. Broward County is 15%. Why are we lower? Because we have been, we have been purposed under my leadership to be more inclusive of everyone, to make sure that everybody gets an opportunity to be a part of the process. And not just one group getting all the contracts and being at the table. That's a huge achievement uh, for us in, 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 in Broward County. Uh, in, 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 again, in 2019, uh, because of my efforts for Florida's International Trade and Cultural Expo, the county won a presidential award that goes back to the days of President Kennedy in 1962 for helping our businesses sell more goods and services to the rest of the world. Interesting. You led the United States. Your county we, led the we, United States. We absolutely did. We absolutely did. So it's a huge, it's a huge achievement for us. Uh, and, and again, let's look at the advantage that we have because of the diversity that we have. We connect to the world. Yes. Because we have the diversity of people who can go anywhere, open doors for trade, for commerce, for anything in the world at all. We use that to open access points to sell more goods and services, to get the, the best and the brightest from the rest of the world to participate with us, to enjoy the culture, the food, the, the everything from around the world. Speaking about uh, connecting to the world, how did you come up with this whole international business uh, uh, event. plan and event yeah. that yeah. You, you did in Broward County. Because so that created a, 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 a big public impact. Everyone, did, was, it, it Broward did. County was well known and uplifted yes. on that. Yes, yes. So it goes back to the building blocks that I started much earlier in life. But also more directly when I got to Lauderhill and put together Sister City International Program 
and created the Chamber of Commerce. We started these exchanges, cultural and economic exchange with other countries. And I realized how important that was. So that is what took you to Ghana, Nigeria, exactly, and India. Exactly. I, I, we, we did sister city with, 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 with Trinidad. Okay. We did sister city with, 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 with Brazil. We did sister city with Jamaica and other places. And, and we went on missions there, trade mission, cultural missions. And that opens the door. That's exactly what took me to these other places, for us to open doors for relationship that, that leads to beneficial uh, partnerships for our countries around the world. And it's something that we must do. And when we lift up uh, people in other countries and lift them out of poverty because we're doing commerce and trade, those countries benefit. Of course. We benefit as a result of it also. So that's a, that's a huge piece. Now, there's some issues that we must face in this country that we haven't faced enough. Uh, and that is, we have segments of our community where there's injustice. When you, when you, when you look at our judicial system, you find that there's need for reform and policing in, in our judicial system. And, and, and especially for black folks. In, 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 in the state of Florida, blacks make up 16.9% of the population, yet they're 47% of people in prison. There's something very wrong with that. It means that we're robbing ourselves of some of our most vital capital or human capital. We can change that, and, and I've worked mm -hmm. to change that. Mm -hmm. uh, so I've put in place in, in Broad a civil citation program where for minor misdemeanor offenses, you get a citation, you get a ticket more or less, and you go through a process of redeeming yourself without having to go to jail, without having to have a record. For minor mis like, like if you had a little bit of marijuana, if, if, if you were loitering, if you, if you shoplifted for a small amount of money, if you get in a little scuffle with someone, nobody right. got hurt. You, you, we don't need to put, if you have uh, mis misbehave in some way, and, and what we find is a large percent of people in our prisons and in our jails have mental illness, have drug addiction problems, and are very poor. We need to change that and make sure that we're building a stronger, better community by investing in, in, in everyone. Housing is a crisis, in a crisis situation here in South Florida, in America, uh, and I've worked to help to alleviate that. The county is putting millions of dollars in building new affordable housing. I've been at the forefront of that. Uh, there's a lot that we must do to ensure that we have early childhood education, especially in low and moderate income communities. Mm -hmm. And we must make those investments. And that is the reason why I'm running for the United States Congress, because I believe the experience that I've had over time can be utilized by our community, by our state, by our nation, to build a better place for everyone.